Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan with Next Level Riding Clinics. Today we're going to be talking about the all new IQS system from Fox. All right guys, Fox IQS, electronic quick switch technology. As a mountain rider, it is so important to be able to, as you're riding, as the environment or as the terrain changes, have that specific shock set up for the terrain that you're in. And now we can get to control that from our handlebars. Obviously we're kind of nipping at the heels of mountain bike technology. And for a while there it was like, talking about a mountain bike and not having a dropper seat post. When you first saw it, a dropper seat post was this thing that was a, it was gimmicky. Uh, you're like, man, I don't need that. You ride a bike with a dropper seat post, you will never go without one. And we started riding this a year ago and the ability to be able to go from settings on the QS3 suspension on all four shocks from one, two, and three, based on the terrain that you were in was unbelievable. I don't have to stop reach down and twist a knob, turn a lever, push a button, do anything like that. I can do that all right from my handlebars with this new IQS system. So guys, put really simple, level one, the one setting on this is how you would wanna ride. Your snowmobile is set up, it's soft, it's supple, it goes through the snow, it, it transitions, it's doing all of the things like your snowmobile and like you would want it to. It's gonna wheelie going up the hills, it's gonna take those bumps. If I wanna go into a bit more of like a performance setting, or let's say that the snow condition changes and it's a bit harder, level two, you might opt for that setting, and that's simply by pushing a button and getting onto level two. If I am hill climbing, especially in an area where I wanna head up the hill and stay in control and not wheelie, I can be in level three, and or I can push and hold, and you'll see this indicator light start to flash, and that means I've locked out the rear shock. When we lock out that rear shock, it's transforming all of that energy towards the front of the sled. And to be honest with you, the sled becomes boring as you're going up a hill, meaning that it stays down in the front. If there's a situation where you're in deep snow and you're headed up a hill and you wanna keep the control of the front of the snowmobile, locking out that rear suspension is the best way to go. That's a state of suspension that I don't wanna to continue to ride in. So once I'm done with that big pole or that climb or that side hill, I can simply just boop, with the touch of a button back to that one or two setting and away I go without having to stop. So if you're running a snowmobile with big power and or it's got a short track, you can actually make the suspension work better given the terrain that you're in. So if you've got a big turbo sled, let's say, and you wanna keep the front end down, that's that reasoning for going into that higher setting or that level three, something that before we would have to stop, adjust the suspension and away we go. And we all know as mountain riders, we don't have the patience for that, nor are we ever in a position where we really can do that. If I'm on a really technical side hill, the last thing I want to do is let go of my handlebars to reach under my sled and adjust a QS3. So the IQS system allowing me to do that from my handlebars, it's not only safer, but it allows me to continue on so that I can still beat my buddy to the top of the hill. So I'm sure by now you guys are interested in what the switch does, where all this wiring and all this madness happens that Fox has created. Well, we're gonna dig into the hood and we're gonna see what this thing is all about. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So with the installation, your shock mounts the same way. You've got some wiring that you drill up through. All of this stuff from the center shock, the rear shock, and both your front suspension, they come up into the Fox ECU. The UCU has got its own bracket. It's mounted up underneath the overstructure, so it's protected, it's out of the way. Everything plugs in there nice and neat. And then obviously you run your power line up to your control right here. Once you fire the sled is when it's powered. So you fire up the snowmobile, you'll see this thing light up. And then from there, man, you're ready to go. You'll be able to adjust from level one, two, and three. And obviously pushing and holding that number three, it will flash and then you get that lockout for that rear suspension. So the shocks, you guys, as you're in level one, you're actually changing the compression of the suspension. I get a lot of people asking me, is it's changing, changing air pressure or something like that? It's actually changing compression. And we're actually taking a bunch of different levels com of compression and we're narrowing it down. Part of the QS3 technology was actually dividing that into thirds so that level one was set up more of a soft setting, two and three, all the way up to that hill climb or more of a hard or more compression setting, which I think is really helpful. I don't need 16 positions to get me there. I need three, and there's a lot of times where I only need two. I need it to be set up soft, 
and then I need to go right to lockout because I am wheeling over the top on a big turbo and I got a cornice in front of me and I want to keep the front end down. And now we have a way to do that with this IQS right from the handlebars. So there you have it, you guys, the new IQS system from Fox. Really excited about this new suspension setup. For any of you guys interested in this setup, make sure you hit up Next Level Riding Clinics. I've got a couple of these sleds that I'd be willing to demo out so you guys can understand the true advantage to the IQS system. You guys remember, put your comments below. I, I'm sure I'm gonna get questions about this, this whole setup and what this looks like. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.